saved. At Drayton School, there's been a serious incident in a Year 9 science class. Harriet Wall, Head of Learning Support, is about to put into practice the school's distinctive behaviour management system. Is it for you? Yeah. What's happened? I've got accused of spit. You've been accused of... Right, OK. So tell me exactly what, what's happened. There's spit on the table. Right. Then it spelt about a metre away from me. OK. And just because I got Matthew's book and wiped it off, right. he, he sent me out for it and he said it was me. OK. How does Matthew feel about you using his book to wipe off spit off the table? He finds it funny. Does he? Mm, OK, let me just go and ask the teacher what's happening. Restorative justice focuses less on instant punishment and more on encouraging children to think through the consequences of their behaviour. Right, how would you like me to deal with this one, then? Well, so, basically, like it's going to have to be the front two table. Third, yeah, two-thirds of the class were not involved. <laughs> I'm not sure who is involved on this one. OK. You... My suspicions are this end and that end of the table and the middle were caught in the crossfire. That's my okay. suspicions, okay. but no one is owning up to anything. Right, we've got a spare room here. here. Yeah. I'll take out the top right. tables, then. OK, D8's probably spare. Drayton in Banbury came out of special measures three years ago, and last summer every Year 11 student achieved at least one Grade A to G GCSE. Restorative Justice, or RJ, is a key part of the school's strategy for improvement. It's aimed at developing pupils' emotional literacy and creating a better environment for learning. Guys, it's actually really quite serious, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's a really... Whether it was done as a joke, it's actually really quite an immature yeah. act to do, isn't it, to spit across the room when, they're, when the teacher's not in the class. All right, now, obviously, some people here have got absolutely nothing to do with this. OK, but, yeah. so I, I would quite like people to be quite honest at this point. I did some of it. Thank you. You haven't done any of it. Some of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, thank you, Luke, for being Someone honest. Someone was chucking at me as well. Right, this is what we need to get to the bottom of. <laughs> Anybody else want to own up? He does. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thank you. Know. Matthew? I ain't gobbed. You haven't. Jade? No. Orion? Mm -mm. No. Right, OK, so... The rest of you, OK, I'd like you to go back into the class. I'm going to come and see that you have settled. RJ is based on asking pupils a number of key questions. What happened? Who was affected? And how can things be put right? So, how, do you have any idea how you've just affected that class? We got all over it. OK. So who's been affected now? The classroom. Yeah, anybody else? Um, teacher, people, Mark. OK, Mark. So what can we do now? What, you know, what's the fair or the right thing to do now to get this sorted? Because, hmm. you, you know, you've got choices to make, haven't you? I mean, Luke, you've got serious choices to make. OK, you've just come back in, haven't you? And, Matthew, you need to really start making the right choices. Mm -hmm. Because there's only so much a school will tolerate and you actually have completely disrupted the learning of that whole class. So what I'm going to do is I'll ask Mr Scott whether he's willing to have you back in the room. But I think you need to think about what you're going to say to Mr Scott because that's his lesson that's been disrupted for the last ten minutes. Thank you for being honest. OK. Thank you for realising the extent, OK, and how you've affected the class. OK, are we ready to go back in and try and learn? Mm -hmm. I think you might need... We need to ask Mr Scott because it's going to be on his yeah. say, isn't it? Because he might actually decide that he doesn't want you in there. So I've run out of time now, so they're going to do some book work. They seem to have settled. OK, I think these guys want to say something to you. They've admitted the, the spitting and completely disrupting your class. Right. Okay. They'd like to come back in and learn, and I don't know what you want to do as a consequence. I, am all, I can take them, if you want right. to take them away. Um, um, or whether you want to deal with yourself. 
I need to clean up now. OK. I, and I think, actually, that I'm still quite Angry. cross okay. with what's Fair happened. Enough. And Matthew has done some work in the lesson, but Luke did very little work and has disrupted earlier, so I'd actually like Luke definitely okay. out. Matthew, you... if he is willing to carry on working, can come back in, but I'd rather Luke stayed out. OK. In this case, RJ was only partially successful. The boys accepted responsibility and seemed to recognise who was affected, but weren't able or willing to suggest ways of putting right their wrongdoing. I think you're going to have to make some real choices, Luke, aren't you? In practice, RJ rarely produces instant results. But the staff believe that applying it repeatedly and consistently encourages students to try to repair the harm they may have caused. It is, can be a long process. Um, sometimes young people don't want to talk about what they've been involved in and, and they don't want to accept, maybe, the harm that they've caused. And I think that can be quite wearing because you're then you're working very hard, type of upstream, to be honest, um, to try and get young people to become accountable. I think you, you trust the teacher who has come on response. You know that they are going to get to the bottom of the problem and they always ask whether or not you are willing to take the person back. So you have the opportunity to say, well, actually, no, I don't want that person back in the room at this time. Uh, it gives you time to calm yourself down as well so that you don't immediately shout at any other pupils and that sort of thing or carry on an argument with a pupil because as soon as voices get raised, the pupils here do react badly to that and will shout back at you and then the situation just escalates. Jane, did you say Daniel... Harriet is trying to track down a Year 8 pupil who's run away from a teaching assistant after an incident in the computer room. Ah, Daniel, just the young man I'm coming to see. Right, well, Miss, let me just tell you, Miss Crooks is actually quite upset with what's your, your part of it because you actually have quite a good relationship with Miss Crookshank. OK. So what part did you play in all this then, Dan? Just took the piece of paper. OK, and then what did you do? So I was going to get a porky. porky. Okay. Porky. And what have Miss asked? Right. What have Miss asked you to do? Stay in the centre. Okay. So how do you think that's your running office affected her? No. Oh. What do you think she might be feeling? Sad. Okay. Are you willing to come along and just come and see her now? Yeah. Come on then. Wherever possible, Harriet tries to bring all parties together in a mini conference. Okay. Right then. We're here, OK, because of the incident that happened this morning, all right? And it's not about Daniel making out to be a good or a bad person here, but we just need to think about what's happened and how that's affected people, OK? And then try and come up with a way that perhaps we can make it right, OK? Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a few questions to both, both of you, OK? Um, the perpetrator always ask, speaks first. It encourages to them to take full responsibility for their actions. So I'm going to ask you first, Daniel. OK, what do you think's happened this morning? Well, Porky was printing off some of it, but I don't know what, what it was about, cos I didn't get a chance to look at that paper. I just screwed it up. OK. OK, and then what happened? No, I just ran out of the cut and the learner set room. Miss Crutchman said stay. No, I gave it Porky outside, and I don't know if he chucked it away or not. OK. And who do you think was affected by that? Miss Crutchman. OK, and how do you think she was affected? By well, not listening to her orders. Okay. Miss Crookshank, could you tell us what happened? Wow. I mean, I was in here working with someone else mm. and another ch student came in and said that they're printing pictures. So I went into where they were on the computer and as I walked in, there was someone coming out of the photocopier and Daniel took it very quickly, screwed it up and did a runner. And how have you felt since, Miss? Cross. Upset, disappointed, annoyed. Disappointed more than anything. OK. Danny, you've heard what Mrs. Said, Mrs. said about it all, OK? Is there anything that you want to, to do now yeah. to make that right? So, sorry, sorry, this is not following the orders. Stand on that side. OK. That's fine. Mrs. Is there anything you want to say? I'm just sorry it's happened, really. And I know Daniel, and I'm, that was all I wanted him to do, was just stay in the learning centre, not to run off and 
disturbed by the lessons, perhaps. Right. Okay, is there anything that you'd like to come out of now you've had this meeting? Well, I'm really quite pleased that Daniel's decided that he'd do this, and hopefully we can start off on a positive foot again. OK, Daniel. Mm -hmm. So just to wrap up then, Daniel's apologised. Yeah. And Mrs accepted your apology, OK? Is there anything that you might do differently in future? Yeah, listen to the orders from the teacher tower. OK. Orders. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you. Something like... I mean, that there, um, that was a, a mini-conference that took all of maximum five minutes. Cos sometimes you might think, well, that, that process hasn't worked for that child, they don't show any type of remorse. But the more you do it, then it's like a small drip feed, really, that young people... I mean, Daniel has been through that process before, um, and it's quite, you know, it's quite important for him that he realises that the choices of his behaviour, how much they do affect people. And before that type of having an RJ conference, that would have gone on all day long, and it would have been type of... You know, Miss would have been, was really, really angry at him and disappointed in him. But that, that allowed her to get that off her chest and Daniel to actually realise what it was that he had done that had upset her so much and then had the opportunity to say sorry. Harriet is prepared to persist with restorative right. techniques despite the sometimes slow progress and the concerns of some critics that children may be getting off lightly. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say it's a pink and fluffy option, but actually it isn't. What you're actually asking a child to do for the first time is to take into account what they've done and become responsible. Major incidents are dealt with in a full conference to which a number of parties are invited, including parents. One of Harriet's first conferences involved a group of girls in a bullying incident yeah. who are now the best of well, friends. It's like, it kind of actually changes people, because in Year 7, Year 8, I was like really loud, really like in people's faces. And if I didn't like somebody, then I'd tell them, and I'd be really <laughs> quite rude and really, really loud. But then after doing the restorative justice, it sort of matures people. People mm. start to think, actually... Makes you feel more grown up. Yeah, you think about the consequences of what you're going to say and what you're going to do and how it can affect other people. Instead of just you feeling a little bit guilty, you're feeling really mm. intensely guilty. And... Um, yeah, I think it's because of the circle, really. You're in a circle and... You can look at everybody, you can see everybody, you can see what they're, how they're feeling. And it's like as if you're in a really small, compact you don't, circle. You don't take notice around you. Yeah, and, it's, and everything that's happening around doesn't matter. It's all about this circle mm. and what's happening and the emotions being thrown at each other. RJ works because you're sharing one language, and that is the language of emotions. And you, you're asking young people to tell you what's happened. Um, they're having a chance to actually speak to you and, and give their account. I feel that um, classrooms are more positive now in the rooms that I teach because they feel that I do actually listen because in the style of questioning, you're asking them about themselves. Restorative justice places heavy demands on staff, but the long-term rewards for both students and the school can be enormous. The moments when it does work completely outshine when it doesn't because you know, you can really see sometimes that for a young person that has got it wrong, they actually have an opportunity through the restorative process to make it right again. And it really, just when that happens and a child gets the closure, even when they've been the negative party, so to speak, that makes it all so much worthwhile.